before the task given to me, that is the welcome address, I just want to give a brief introduction of what exactly is this tournament. So last year we had the first edition in the month of October 2021. Sir. So we had participation in three categories, that is men's doubles, women's doubles and mixed doubles. All together we had a total of 72 teams participating from various departments in Kohima and that was first of its kind in the state capital. So usually what happens in the other districts, we get to see, we get to know or we have worked in other districts. There is always an inter-department tournament, the badminton tournament happening. And badminton being the one of the most favorite sport in Nagaland because you have the facilities, you have an indoor stadium in almost all the districts now. And Kohima, even we have a lot of stadiums, maybe more than other districts. We didn't have an inter-department tournament. So with, the, with that motto and the idea that there should be some interactions among the departments even outside our office premises. When we meet each other in office, we could hardly give any time to the department or other offices because we all get busy with our own work schedules. So an informal platform like this where we come together, we play, we talk to each other, we interact. A lot of official things also can be discussed. For example, if we want something to be done in the medical department, if some doctor is coming, we can actually talk to them and people will be more receptive and there will be more camaraderie. So that was the main intention we started this. So we, a group of people we were playing, we ourselves called Inter-Department Badminton Club and we started this tournament last year. So this time is the second edition. So I'm happy to announce that we have four categories this time, that is men's doubles, women's doubles, mixed doubles and 50 plus legislators and retirees in one category. And all together we have a participation from 30 departments, 98 teams. We almost, we missed century by two teams. So hopefully in the coming year, we'll be able to even cross that benchmark of 100. So this is a brief outline of the uh, tournament. And we even have reduced the registration fee this time to 1,000 per team. And we have participation, we have tried to get hold of some sponsors also. So that's a brief history. Now coming to my duty, that's a welcome address. First of all, I would like to welcome Sri Temchi Nimna along the Honorable Minister for this event. Sir, sir it's been our privilege that you could spare out your time and come here to encourage us, to motivate us. These are all the departments, these are all part of the government which will be responsible for many more innovations and initiatives and coordination in the days to come. Thank you very much sir, for coming. We even have participation from the legislators, sir. Ishak is here, sir. Vikhoi was here. Thank you, sir, for playing and showing us the way and be part of us so that you motivate all the other departments. Thank you very much. And we even have participation from very senior officials like our uh, principal AC, sir, is also here. Sir, thank you for coming. We have participation from various officers, even from police and other departments. So thank you, everyone. And, and on the behalf of Inter-Department Badminton Club, I welcome all of you, every single one of you for taking your time and coming here. So this will go on till tomorrow, late evening. Today also we plan to play late. We have three courts, but we have a lot of matches to come in. So it's not about winning and losing, as we always say, it's about participation and encouraging each other. So let us participate till the end, even if we qualify for the semi-finals or finals. And I also welcome the media friends here and the officers and the organizers from the Nagaland Legislative Assembly for giving us this opportunity. I personally thank and on behalf of the club also I thank all of you. And we have some uh, people can set up candy also here. So I welcome all of you to this tournament and only one suggestion from the club side. This championship or this model has to be sustainable in the years to come also. So may, maybe this club will stay, this club will not stay. 
So from next year, we look forward, some department will take the ownership on a roster basis to conduct this tournament so that it will be much easier and every department take an ownership of conducting this tournament in Kohima. So we look, for, look forward to that. We have further discussions uh, maybe after this tournament. So thank you everyone for coming here. I welcome all of you for this massive extravaganza of badminton. We look forward to have great sportsmanship and good games in the days to come. Thank you. And it is one place that I'm happy to be here because it's all about the love of sports and badminton. Thirty odd departments coming together and playing. I saw my Uditam sir, the accounts officer, but I heard you are representing British and accounts instead. Is it true? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a great thing. One place where we do not talk about, you know, 30, 30 or 20, 40. One place where we do not talk about where, whether we are going aligned or not aligned. <laughs> One place where solution or no solution is not the issue. Sometimes, it's perplexing to know what our people want also. If some of us want this, some doesn't want it. If some of us want that, some of them don't want this. So even to think and assimilate everything together and come as people, one people, to a certain assertive imposition of any need of ours is almost impossible in our state. I can only congratulate the people who are managing this. The 30 departments can come here together and you can still smile and clap and then do well. I hope departments have not brought proxy players here. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> and out of the list, most, I, I don't think, uh, if I were to play here, I know I will lose wonderful weight, but I also know that I will be running around and like I always said before, my eyes are small and sharp also, but I might not see the sharp. <laughs> so all the best to all of you. I pray that all of us uh, are not only able to assimilate the sportsmanship in the field of badminton. I see my two hukus. I know my uku Isakko, he made one a badminton stadium in Avoy just for him only. <laughs> and likewise, Uvek you know, they are smart, agile, and then handsome, but not cute like me, like I said. <laughs> so I wish all of you the very best. I pray that the department officers and bureaucrats who are here, as you play for two days and make sure that you win, try planning to, planning to bring down the rules and regulations and protocol for politicians also. They make so many rules. Kindly bring it down a little bit, terminology. Huh? and make sure that you find the ways to help our people in the best possible manner. We are not asking you to break your rules. That is always our complaint. Your rules are there to guide the right assertion to be done, not to delay, not to say that it's not happening. But then in a time like Nagaland today, Every moment and day is of essence. And I wish that all of us can work together as a government and all of us can make sure that the best things happen for
for our people in every area. Lastly, I know this may not be the right forum to say this, but all of us are responsible citizens of our state. All of us are very responsible as officers, politicians, and citizens. It is our state, our Nagaland, and our people. There is so much of negativity around. So much to judge each other. And so much that we speak ill of each other. Have we not found anything good to speak about each other sometimes? In a state where the population is not even properly two million, God has blessed us with a wonderful land and robust human resource. Each one of us accused the other of not having something being done. But each one of us try hard to make sure that things are done. Should be our hearts in living. Today we have a great stadium here, in your stadium. I would encourage that in the days to come, the departments should not only play among yourselves, but also promote others, youngsters, and facilitate that from our state comes out great sportsmen and women. I cannot play. I don't know how to play well even if I want to. But I can surely help somebody do better. Likewise, all of us. So I just pray that as it ends tomorrow with the champions and with which department is won and you may have a great party, I wish that all of us would go back home tomorrow and even today, we take, take in the sense that we really need to build our state, create more champions in badminton, encourage young men and women to play, and also make sure that one day our state will also be at the forefront of the states of the nation in badminton and in sports too. So thank you very much for inviting me. God bless you all. Have a great time. Motion, Top JEE and NEET Coaching Institute of Kota is now in Dimapur. Faculty study materials and test series from Kota directly. Now students from Nagaland can raise their preparation level right here in Dimapur. Admissions open now.